Hello, my lovely Scorpio. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Scorpios, welcome to your monthly energies. And in today's reading, we are looking for your career, finance, money related. Could be business, could be studying. And let's see, Sun, Moon, Rising, Science and Venus. What are those energies we need to pay attention for this month in particular? Since it's your month, happy birthday, loves. Let's see how the energies are blessing you. What are those messages Spirit brings and comes with for you? No, general reading might highly resonate with you. And sometimes maybe here and there a message. Be mindful what you take loves with you, what you leave behind. A wish fulfillment. We have the star energy, Aquarian energy, but very, very strongly speaks of protection. Archangel Gabriel, it's on your side. For many, many of you, pay attention to the science, to the energies that are coming in for you. As well, the star speaks of certain things here are cooling off or start off. Better choices, new choices, new things. The lovers here, I feel here there is something here you ask the universe and might come by the full moon in Gemini. The full moon in Gemini we have in the beginning of December. So whatever here you ask the universe, it's coming and it's coming shortly. As well, with the star and the lover speaks of there is um, a wish, but that wish comes with a choice. All right. Four of swords. Four of pentacles. Six of pentacles and the page of pentacles. All right, so look at this, loves. Certain things here might feel like, well, nothing happens. And indeed here feels like it's a static energy, four of swords, four of pentacles. Like first three weeks doesn't feel much to say, but I feel here by the end of the month, as we are moving into the Sag season, probably, there's a lot of things here are picking up, coming in. And it's like, where stands my luck? Where is my energy that needs here? So the turning point is at the end of the month, basically. But in the meantime, with this Four of uh, Pentacles, like, don't hold back on certain things, but try others. It's kind of, it's worth the try. It's worth to explore more. So let's see, the Four of Pentacles, full. There's something here indeed about a leap, about a wish, but the Fool doesn't give you too much. It's kind of like, I'm not really quite interested or I'm not into as much. One more card. Yeah, Four of Cups. Look at this. All fours. Doesn't feel quite exciting or doesn't feel strong enough to believe that works. I need to look more and find more because Seven of Cups is like, it's not something here that you are knowing about. A little confused of whatever is. And it's more likely you don't see yourself in with this Eight of Swords. Most likely you, you might not feel very, very strongly that you can make it. The Six of Pentacles speaks of King of Wands taking action, taking a leap. Nine of Swords. I feel here you are thinking very strongly of it. Ten of Wands speaks of it is what it is. I will get it through, but I need to do something here. This five of pentacles, it's kind of the, the limit. And you're speaking up now. It's kind of like, I need to leave this behind. 
and move into something new. How this Page of Pentacles picks off Emperor. Look at this. And the Emperor very strongly speaks of Mars energy. Mars is actually now retrograde in Gemini. Communication wise, might be a little also out there, but we have Mercury moves in Sag at the end of the month. So whatever here idea is, it's kind of great to go ahead, but also there's something here to leave behind. Six of Wands, whatever here is taken at the end will bring success. A lot of it taking action towards something that will bring a lot, a lot of success. Yes, it's a small energy, but I feel here it's amplifying beautifully. Look at this Knight of Cups. So it's kind of like at the right time, at the right moment, the right model or the right offer. So indeed, something here you... It's kind of you You try to find a solution for something. And as you see here, the only four is missing its four of wands. The celebratory energy, like finally I got it through. So there is something here you clearly don't see that you can make it or can work. But I feel here that going ahead with this small offer or feel like a small offer or there's something here small on the way and feels like something here it's picking up quickly very very quickly it's like within weeks something here it's like a boom whatever that is loves whatever that is i feel also that you are a little like i don't see this going or i don't see this will work or anything like that But I feel here it's a great move. So for you, Scorpio, this month, by the end, might not really look wow. And as well, you might feel a little tight financially. For some of you, you might feel by the third week that I don't know what else, but it's kind of like the, the miracle offer or the miracle thing coming in the last the last minute and that's the the breakthrough that's the the portal the open door so go ahead loves go ahead Whew. the best advice we have for you darlings nine of cups Indeed, here there is a wish fulfillment for many, many of you. Queen of Pentacles, the Devil. So be aware of some excesses here because I feel here for some of you might be in that energy of I need to do more and more and more. So anything in excess might not be the best from the best. So pay attention to those things because certain things here might go on the other side. Queen of Wands here, okay? So something here might, whatever it is, you could get it, but also be aware of whatever here comes. Be careful, okay? The, the advice for you loves, the advice for you, we have crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Mystic healer, healing energy flows through you. Taking shelter, the answers are within. There's a lot of things here that are coming in for you in the meantime. And... Look at this, joy and delight. As you know, joy is the ha happiest energy ever or the highest energy. And very, very strongly speaks of open up for the things that are coming in for you or towards you. 
and you know there is movement by the end. Underneath we have uncovering treasure beneath the surface like gray bounty. So for some of you there is something here that really pops up. Pop up small but comes big. Go ahead loves, why not? So Scorpios, that's what we have for you for this particular month, this particular reading. If this really resonates, let us know. And in the meantime, we'll see you next time. Namaste.